Hey, hey, hey everyone, Tankenstein here in this video. I've got your first overview and gameplay for the T-80 UM-2. This is a rank 7 battle rating 10.7 tank, main battle tank really, for the Russian Ground Forces Tech Tree. And this is obtainable during the Winter Quest event, or if you're watching this after the event, over the Marketplace. So this is a vehicle, this is the top level reward, of course, for the Winter event, and uh, it's pretty darn good. Now, being that this is an event vehicle, it is not premium, thus you will not receive premium RP and SL bonuses. Now, the big thing with this vehicle that uh, made War Thunder, made Gaijin say, hey, let's add this to War Thunder, is that it has APS, so active protective system as you can see here this is supposed to work to repel enemy projectiles from hitting your vehicle so i'm not sure if it's worked i've heard some anecdotal stories where people are saying that it is not yet working or it doesn't really work all so well but of course we can see how it will be in gameplay of course i will be playing likely one two maybe even three matches depending on how i do and how i like it otherwise this is a pretty standard t80 it does have more or less everything that you could want in a t80 except for one very important thing, and that is thermals. This totally lacks thermals. You do at least have night vision, but it lacks thermals. At 10.7 BR, just, I don't get it. Maybe, uh... Maybe they'll lower the BR, but uh, it's a very, very odd thing to lack thermals, but at least it has three BM-46, which is a very good shell at this BR, or really any BR. So, that being said, let's get into a few matches, see what we could do, but uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, I don't know if this is going to be good or bad, but let's hope. So the UM-2 is pretty much identical, again, to other T-80s out there. Um, it's not really got... That was really nice. Wow! Went right through the front of a Leopard 2A4, essentially. Uh, but this is a very, very nice vehicle. Very quick, of course, as most, if not all, T-80s are. Now, this does weigh one ton more, um, unfortunately. Nice! Okay, that was an XM1. That was an easy kill. But it weighs about one ton more compared to the T-80U and I believe the UK. Correct me if I'm wrong. So it weighs the same as the T-80 BVM. Okay, that got my APS, I believe. Not to worry. Time to get into this ridiculous reload, but my entire crew is still alive. So that's very nice. Now, again, this is a bit annoying that I don't have uh, any sort of thermals, being that that's what everyone else uses. Now, on this map, it's quite a bit easier to tell exactly where enemies... Ooh, he took out my cannon breach. It's a bit easier to tell exactly where enemies are. I mean, of course, not always, especially when you have someone like me who just kind of doesn't see it. But thermals are such a huge advantage in War Thunder. I actually ran a uh, poll a few weeks ago where I asked people, I said, okay, if you could choose, if you had uh, regular parts and, and um, fire equipment already unlocked, and you had four different things that you could unlock. I think it was, like, what? Thermals, engine, uh, top-level IPFSDS, and maybe it was something else. Anywho, and Laser Rangefinder. Laser Rangefinder came pretty far up there, but by a good margin, the most uh, requested thing that people would want first, if they could, was thermals. And that tells you something. And that kind of tells you how big and how important thermals are in War Thunder. And unfortunately, again, it's not even like this doesn't have the option of getting thermals early or like with most T-80s where you can get the night vision and then the thermals. You literally just cannot get thermals. And that's a huge disadvantage. No matter how good this vehicle is, that's a huge disadvantage. And I'm actually really surprised that this is a 10.7 BR vehicle. Um... You know, maybe maybe it deserves to be 10.7 BR, but if this deserves to be 10.7 BR, then the other ones, in my opinion, probably deserve either to be higher BR than 10.7 or lower BR. Uh, just because, I mean, and I've seen it before, like for the T-80U, for example, with the Swedish uh, tech tree, the, the uh, squadron vehicle, that vehicle is worse, is just worse than the T-80U in the Russian tech tree, and especially the T-80 UK squadron vehicle. It is worse. And yet, it is still 10.7. So you see this this kind of 
thing with Gaijin where it's like, okay, you have your T80 plus, T80, and then your T80 minus. This is like a T80 minus. This is a lesser T80 for the most part compared to the others. Now, at least it has the 3 BM46, which is pretty good. And that would make the argument that maybe it should be 10.7 BR. However, again, lack of thermals is a big weakness at this BR, especially for a main battle tank. Especially for a main battle tank. So who knows? Who knows? Anyways, this match is likely about over. I'm not entirely sure if it is, but um, I'm going to just take a, a guess that it is. But hey, who knows? Maybe I can get another kill or two. Okay, so here we are in Vietnam, and smashing through their ancient walls. I'm assuming those are ancient. Probably not, actually. But we do have the T-80 UM-2. Now, one of my commenters on my Tornado IDS video had advised to me that the T-80 UM-2 as is modeled in game, is modeled inaccurately. Uh, not even just inaccurately, but very inaccurately. Whoa! And my game just kind of froze right there for a second as I hit him. I was scratching my my chin, and then I'm like, "Oh no! <laughs> Got to put my hand back on the mouse." Is he gonna follow? I hear him to the left. Come on. Okay, this thing is actually surviving quite well. Two kills. But I have an engine fire. Is there someone else behind me? What just... What is happening here? What in... Like, I mean, holy cow. I will say this. Survivability on this is awesome. I mean, of course, survivability on pretty much all Russian tanks. T-80s, especially um, beyond the... What was it? The T-80B, I believe it is. It's all really good. Um, you know, the ERA on the T-80s, at least as is modeled in War Thunder, goes a long way towards survivability. Very, very nice. But again, from what I've been told, and this is just anecdotal, but from what I've been told, this is a very much incorrectly modeled vehicle um, in War Thunder. I'm really kind of surprised it didn't get the kill. Try one more time. There we go, to a four, none too shabby finish. Not too bad. So I'm gonna move up here, hoping no one on my left flizzity flank. Everybody in my crew is still alive, though this guy here has a bit of a headache. Although that's to be expected when I'm the commentator. So we are not doing too poorly. It looks like the enemy team has largely given up, as one could expect. Now, this is by itself a great vehicle. You know, TADUs are great, great vehicles, at least in my opinion. Um, fantastic, as a matter of fact. But in my... Ooh! But in my opinion... Wow, look at all that damn... I'm just absorbing... I mean, of course, that was the M163. I mean, it wasn't going to go through anyways, but... Didn't... Got me! Okay. But, I mean, the T-80 is a fantastic vehicle by itself. It's not that it's a bad vehicle, it's that it doesn't have thermals. And this vehicle was developed, I think, in the mid to late 90s, at least, again, per that comment. And if it was, one would think that it would have thermals. So that said, let's get into one more quick match, see how we do, and have a good time. So some things to note as I get into my final match with this vehicle. First, I haven't seen the APDS work yet. Now, I think that's just because it hasn't really met, you know, I haven't really been, for example, fired upon by ATGMs, surprisingly. You know, I honestly would have thought that some sort of ATGM would have attacked me by now. Second, the cannon, as one could expect, being that this is the standard cannon on pretty much all uh, T-80s, is very good. And so there's nothing wrong with the cannon. There's nothing wrong with this vehicle. In fact, actually, its armor 
as with most, if not all, T-80s, is very much trolly. And, I mean, I just... I survive pretty much anything. Ooh, there's, an, there's a helicopter. Woo! Woo right there. So, yes, this is a very, very powerful tank. It just trolls... I do not know how I got that, to be honest with you. I should not have gotten that kill. Um, at all. But this is a very trolly vehicle. Of course, like I said, lack of thermals, extremely disconcerting, in my opinion. Now, there are going to be a lot of low BR players who, they don't even know, like, what thermal player, what thermal really is, and how it works, and why it's important. And they'll probably actually, believe it or not, feel right at home with this vehicle. In a really weird way. And that's fine. You know? I don't have a problem with somebody, you know, grinding an event, wanting to use a vehicle that they grinded, that's totally cool, you know? Ooh, go, 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 whoa. That's totally cool. Go ahead and do that. You know, my my concern with this vehicle is simply that, you know what? I'm just gonna have to reload here. My concern with this vehicle is that you're gonna get a lot of low BR players. And, you know, bear in mind, again, this is not a premium vehicle. This is an event vehicle. As a result, being that this is an event vehicle, you do not get premium RP and SL bonuses. Now, because you don't get RP and SL bonuses, and you get the same exact research penalties when grinding this as you would, um, you know, you get the same research penalties as you would in a regular tech tree vehicle. So, for example, um, you can't use, you know, being that this is a tier 7, you can only use this to research tier 6 and tier 7 vehicles without penalty. Which is a problem, especially if you're a new player and you want to grind, and this is your only high tier vehicle. You're going to get very few rewards when grinding high tiers with this. Um, you know, very few RP points, very few, um, very little of anything really, if you're trying to grind high tier with this, or um, low tier rather, or just through the tech tree in general. This is not the vehicle to do it at all. So bear that in mind, uh, very, very important. So I've got two crew members left. And that's another big problem with this is that even though its armor is very good, it's got three crew members, which isn't good for uh, you know overall survivability, nor is it good for, whoa, someone just died. What is going on? But, what? Where am I being? Oh, this guy's alive. Was alive. Am I going to get another kill? Nope. But nor is it good for repairing. Camping Rusty. We're not camping. No one stopped me from coming over here. I don't want to camp this. Normally, I'm actually used to the... I thought the spawn point was over there. I'll get out of here. I don't want to be over here. If they kill me, that's a good thing. I don't like campers. But, as an SPAA, I always look at those as free kills within anywhere because, ultimately, SPAA, they only sit in their camp. So if you don't kill them in the camp, then they're not going to be killed. So that one doesn't matter. But he is right. I was getting a little bit too close to their base, so it's time for me to evacuate and leave these poor fellows alone. But overall, very, very potent vehicle. I mean, like, the ERA on this is very good. Of course, Contact 5 armor and, you know, whatever else they have is, is just very, very nice. I mean, so it looks like we've won. I've got three kills, one assist. I mean, overall, this is pretty much just a T-80 without thermals. That's it. You know, T-80U without thermals. And I think it's a great vehicle. You don't have thermals, which sucks. Again, thermal, thermal, thermal. I've said thermal 50 million times in this video. That genuinely sucks. However, if you're a low BR player, if you, you know, if you're just getting this and like everything else you have is like BR 5.0 and below, then, you know, what does it matter if you have thermals or not? It'll feel the same. So, I don't know. Anyways, I'm assuming that this is the end of the match, unless I get some more kills or something. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. Please, of course, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I mean, I like this vehicle. It's got very trolly armor. APDS, as far as I could tell, not have 
to use it yet, but uh, I'm sure it'll work just in the right circumstances. But thanks again, guys, and I will see you all on the other side. Take care, everyone.